Okay, I think we're up to number seven. I fixed this today. So that's ready to go. These are the blades for it over here. So let's get those out of there and put them onto the fin. Okay, and I think there's some other fan up here as well. I think this box, that box may be the blades for the uh, the Crompton Greaves fan, which I gotta test one of these days. What's this? This is still in fan something or other. It was. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. This is the, uh, let's go with the, with this fan. It's a shutter down rod and the pull strings. Okay, nice. Alright, let's get these blades unwrapped. And we'll put them onto the fan. And I gotta plug in this camera. Because the stinking battery is just about out of charge. Okay, so here's the screws. These should be for connecting the blades to the motor. of too much stinking tape. Okay. Here's the blades. Now let's get them onto the fan.
The only thing I don't have that's original to this fan is the globe, which is unfortunate because I believe the globe did have branding on it. Um, this is the closest one I have to what I remember being on these fans. I remember it being a very small globe, and that one looks fine. It'll do for now. So lastly, I will get out the uh, full chains here and attach those on. Okay, so that's all set now. See how it works. It's kind of noisy, it doesn't move much air, but it's a neat little piece. I figured it probably wouldn't be very good quality. Looks cool though. I think it's a little bit bent. They gotta bend the housing. You can see the space and the metal isn't quite right. Well, I'll fix that. The blades aren't in too good of a clock either. I'll have to fix that as well. But it's there and it works. So that's cool. Now let's um, let's put away some of this other stuff here. So we have this which goes to the VN. Put this with the rest of the instruction manuals. And it's, that's that. This has a place. Okay. So let's get some bubbles wrap for these things and some paper for this. And this is a great show. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, looks like we had an avalanche. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can use up this paper. I've been trying to do something with this anyway, so let's see if we can use this paper. I'm not sure if it's going to be long enough. Oh, this is kind of hard. You know what? That might cause the scratches. Just get the other paper. Usually only requires two sheets, so it goes a long way.
I need to get more tape. I almost don't have any tape left. Okay, this is the 52 inch Hampton Bay St. Clair. Okay. Now we need to get some bubble paper for the um, irons. Uh, let's see here. I don't like to use the, th the thicker ones because it takes up too much space. I want to use the uh, small stuff. Not enough. I think this, this is probably what we're looking for. Try this. This will work. It's not far enough. No, that's not correct. This is the same clear. So that wraps up the putting away of the St. Clair. Now I've got to move all this stuff again to see if I can soak the blades in it. I think maybe it'll fit. Maybe it'll fit. It's getting close. It's almost full over here. I don't like 
to have under longer blades. Just doesn't seem like a good idea for it to not be running flat. So take those out and slip them in if possible. Okay, and if that Very, very close. Okay, I was able to get it, but that's definitely the last blade set that's going to fit under there. So I'll have to clear in the area. Getting half enough blade irons here in time to turn in the box. Okay, perfect. that somewhere else so that doesn't happen again. This box needs to go somewhere else because this won't fit there. Okay. The antenna was already broke on this so it didn't really fit in there. also a little bit flaky but it is what it is okay so now got to deal with all this paper um, I think two of the sheets we can probably save I think these two sheets are good still paper.
Okay, I'm gonna have to clean this up. Now, as far as this paper is concerned, I think it's in too many pieces to really reuse it, so we'll just recycle it. But the recycling is very, they don't make it easy, they're very picky. You have to take all the tape off first. So we'll just cut out the parts that have the tape. You know, it's kind of ironic because the paper will be great if you just toss it out. You know, it's not going to be in the landfill forever. The tape, which they tell you has to go in the landfill, will be. So, you know, whatever doesn't make any sense. I tend to think that the recycling has nothing to do with the environment. It's all about money, but that's just me. Okay, and now this paper, what's left, we're just going to kind of fold this up so it fits into the bin. Okay, what else do we have here? We have this. Which I'm gonna have to restack the whole thing over there because it all fell. Okay. Let's see what we can do here.
I guess that piece isn't going to be useful too much. It's kind of a nuisance because in order to recycle this, they say you have to deflate everything. It takes 50 years to deflate these same little ones. They don't make this stuff easy. And they should. If they had good intentions, they probably would. To separate these these bags and take the labels off and you have to deflate all the bubble wrap and that's a separate category it's quite a nuisance okay this is that's the trash that's still clean this paper Okay, we'll keep that sheet that we put into the recycle. back where it came from. Okay, let's see what's left here. We have a screwdriver when that goes. Some white bulbs. What's this? Alright, this is the adapter that goes with the white bulbs. That in the warm succulent fountain the project box. Deal with that some other time. This stuff. Go back with that thing. But the box is not easily reached at the moment, so I'll just box that again. Got to do a video on that for now. Just add it to the pile over there. This I think what that Ken Brown fan. These did too, but I don't think I'm ever going to put that back. So I'll reuse these for something else. I don't know what this thing is. I've got the rubber band, which is not really working correctly anymore. And a good wire tie. Okay, I well, we can put these away.
go somewhere else. That's that stupid dude. We've got two bags. I keep the bags over here. I'm gonna have to put that one under something else because it's never gonna close right because it's not flat. Okay, so we got stuck after a video. Got to fix that stool still. Um, been going for a while, so I think we'll cut it off here before we end the video. Let's open some packages. Ouch. Got uh, three boxes we can open up. Okay, we'll start with this one. I think this is going to be something really cool. Jeez, the bearings in that coal is still in fan. It's already gone bad. That's terrible. <laughs> well, it goes along with all the other fins in my collection. No problem, I'll change them all. This is an Encon Chili Pepper Cell Fan. Unfortunately, the box is kind of rotted. That really stinks that the box is rotted. But supposedly, the fan is, is new. And unopened. It's a really cool fan. I've been looking for one of these for a long time and I had to spend a fortune and a half to get it here. But uh, here it is. And it's really cool. So there's that. Styrofoam in that box, I'm gonna deal with that now. Gee, this is terrible. I can't believe how loud this stink of bearings are. They sure didn't sound like that when I first turned it on. I don't think that's gonna go away. I'm gonna have to replace the bearings in that. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Looks like it's partially opened already. That's not good. Okay. Uh, that. Got a good rubber band here. More of that. It's a nice long one. And we have some shoes, they're kind of dirty. I don't know if there's any interest in stuff like this. There probably is, I've just never done videos in that genre. And then lastly, we have, I'm not sure what this is, it's very heavy. I can't think of anything that would have had coming heavy. Let's find out. Oh, I know what this is now. This is another interesting piece. This is a work light. But it's not any work light. It's a high pressure sodium work light. And the plug is like a... This It's a... It's not a standard 120 volt plug, I don't think. 
that may be uh, like a 220 something. Anyways, I don't think it's a 220 light. I, let's see what it says. Um, 03, 0603 2003 for the date. And uh, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1.6 amps. So, I don't know why. I don't know why it's got that funny man plug in there, but that's easy. We'll just replace that. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, the cord's got to get replaced anyways. It's all frayed here at the end. and It's filthy. That doesn't matter. What I'll probably do is, because the cord is, no, there's no brakes in it or anything. So, I'll, I'll cut it off here and I'll replace the plug. I'll put a receptacle on there and make it as a, you know, junky extension cord you could use outside or something. And then I'll put a new cord on the, on the light. I happen to have a, a cord that would be good for here. Uh, the My grandfather's vacuum cord uh, frayed on the end so we replaced it and so I could put that cord on this light. That will work good. So, alright that's going to wrap up this video. Some neat stuff here to come and I'll have videos on this stuff soon.